welcome to India's world. Let's get started. We're making a healthy salmon dinner. So we've got all these seasonings here, Cajun seasoning, curry powder, New Orleans Cajun seasoning, um, turmeric, garlic salt, pepper, and salt. I've got some sweet cream butter and country crock, but I don't think she used that. So we're going to use sweet cream butter in this recipe. Brussels sprouts, parsley, and what else? Bok choy. So that's what you will need on top of some pink salmon and some shrimp. This is my sister's recipe. It's a healthy shrimp and salmon dinner. So what we're gonna first start, oh and that in a bag, that's like some blackening seasoning. I don't know what it is, but it just blackens your um, salmon. So right now what you see my sister doing is she is chopping up her bok choy to put in her salmon, I guess. So you're gonna just chop up your bok choy and chop up your parsley and get that all chopped up because we're gonna put that in our um, pan to sizzle with our seasonings and butter. Still chopping, still chopping. Da -da, still chopping. So now you see she's kind of done chopping and she's gonna start putting her peppercorn melody pepper and a pot with some salt and a little, yeah, I think she used salt and pepper. And it looks like she put some garlic salt in that pot. And this is for your Brussels sprouts. Now what you see her doing is cutting up her Brussels sprout. She's cutting the like tip off of the Brussels sprouts where the stem and all that connect. She cutting that off. Don't nobody want to eat that hard stuff. It'll break your dang teeth. So cut that off. Okay. Cut it off. Cut it off. Da da da. Cut it off. Cut it off. She cutting it off. And then we're going to put them in our pot. And when we're done cutting them up and putting them into our pot, we're going to use some water. We use spring water. We don't really like to use our tap water for cooking and drinking, so we use spring water. And once you add your spring water, you're going to need to leave these Brussels sprouts um, soaking in the water in the seasons for 10 minutes. Don't start cooking them immediately after you put the water in. Um, that's all my sister told me, so I'm listening to what she's telling me. I'm trying to remember what she's telling me while I'm doing this video. So just bear with me, because I'm recording while I'm watching this video. So while I'm doing that, I'm also trying to remember what she told me step by step. So like I said, bear with me here. So she had put some water in, sit those in for 10 minutes, let them soak. Now I have a small little skillet and I'm going to put, she's putting some turmeric, butter, and all the seasonings you saw in the beginning. Load that up into the pot. She's going to start um, cooking her salmon. And while she's, um, she's telling me to hold, go easy on like the Cajun seasonings and the, um, turmeric go easy on that the Louisiana occasion because it's kind of salty so just do a little boop 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 you know don't be hot don't be heavy-handed be light-handed here okay in my recipes you can you you can be heavy-handed you know but in her recipes you got to be light-handed light-handed this is healthy healthy meal so she's using some garlic salt be light-handed on that garlic and like I said, we're just gonna add all those seasonings in. She says she like her some curry powder. So if you like curry powder, she said, don't be heavy, don't be light handed, don't be light handed, be heavy handed, heavy handed. Okay. So she put a lot up in there and then she's gonna use her Mrs. Dash lemon pepper seasoning. She like her some lemon pepper. I don't get down with that, but she do. So if y'all like some lemon pepper, throw that up in there too for your salmon. And like I said, this is her meal. She's a very healthy eater, so 
this is a healthy meal. This is a healthy spin to her meals. And then she's putting some blackened seasoning in here. Now, I will have to ask her where she got that and tell you guys um, in the description. I don't know what seasonings that is. Obviously, to me, it's looking like she used a little less than a teaspoon. So I would say go light-handed on that. I think she, I heard her say it's spicy. So, you know, if you don't like that spiciness, Woo, lay off of this, okay? Now she's adding in some bok choy and some parsley. She says she likes her some parsley and bok choy, so add that up in there. This adds a very nice flavor. Now you're gonna wanna start, um, if you have blackening seasoning, start, you know, stirring it, because if it sits, it doesn't incorporate into the whole seasoning. So stir up your seasoning while it's sizzling up on the stove getting hot stir it all together incorporate all those seasonings and then she told me she adds some organic raw honey she only adds about mm, three little doot 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 three little dashes of the honey it she said it evens out the whole flavor from the curry powder to the cajun seasoning it evens it out then you're going to want to slap that salmon down into that seasoning slap that salmon down into that seasoning okay and cook that for about 10 minutes if it's a big salmon you're going to you're going to cook it a little bit longer than that she did cook it on both sides she said start with the um skin side up and after about 10 minutes and then five minutes on the skin side upside, ooh, this is what y'all say this should look like. Ain't that hot? Ain't that cute? Ooh. I eat that, but I don't like no fish or no salmon and something like that. That that's real nice. Look at that glistening. You know you wanna eat that. That's my sister's meal. A sister's meal. A she made that up. A she did her thing. A she stuck her foot up in it. Foot up in it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. I'm trying to be a rapper, you know. So I'm just, ooh, ooh. I'm um practicing. So ooh, look at that meal. So she got done with her salmon, and that's what it should look like after it's done. She, like I said, she cooked it on ten side, uh, ten minutes on one side, and then five minutes on the skin side. So now she's gonna use some rice pilaf and some sweet cream butter for everything that you're using on the stove. Use sweet cream butter, okay? Now she's gonna start adding the same seasoning in that same pot after you wash that pot out um, or that pan. Use some lime juice squirted in the that with the seasonings in the pan and start sizzling it up with some butter and you're gonna add your shrimp. I have her some medium um, de-veined already peeled shrimp here so you're gonna add like I said the same seasonings that you use for your salmon into this shrimp and cook that for about five minutes and or no I'm, I'm lying she did this for about three minutes on each side so she's cooking her shrimp on one side now she's flipping it she's flipping all that shrimp flipping all that shrimp yeah flipping all that shrimp And I also don't eat shrimp, but my mom tried and she says that was amazing. Amazing, okay? So like I said in the last video, run to your local Fred Meyer, Freddy store, run to Kroger, run to Costco, run to Sam's Club, run to Wally, Walmart, and go get you some shrimp and salmon and cook you up some shrimp and salmon. Healthy meals. Look at this, her rice, her salmon. She's got her Brussels sprouts after they're done cooking. And her shrimp. And now look at that. It's all done. It didn't even take 30 minutes. This is the best meal you will ever have. Try it and you'll like it.